How to save money on low income. It's easy to get frustrated when you're on a tight budget, but it's important to remember money isn't the only thing you need. Your health, your happiness, and the well-being of your loved ones are all important too, and they're often not as expensive as you think. We believe that the world has enough people who work hard and play hard, but if your income is low, it can be tough to follow your dreams and do what's best for you and your family. That's why we're here, to make sure that every single person out there with a dream has the resources they need to realize it. And we put together this video on how to save money with low income, so that you can make sure that you're making smart choices when it comes to how to spend your hard-earned cash. If you're looking to save money on low incomes, then you have a few options. One option is to use your savings, but that can be risky if you need the funds for an emergency or other urgent needs. If you do decide to use your savings, make sure that you plan ahead and know how much money you'll need in advance of any situation so that you don't find yourself scrambling later on. Another option is to apply for government assistance programs like food stamps or Medicaid. These programs are typically limited in scope, so they can only help with certain types of expenses, but they do provide some help when it comes to paying the bills or buying groceries. Moreover, sell your stuff, but this isn't always as easy as it sounds. Make sure that what you want to sell is valuable enough to cover the price of replacing it with something else. Otherwise, it might not be worth the trouble. We know, you're, you're probably thinking to yourself, but I can't even afford a cup of coffee, or I spend my whole paycheck on ramen noodles, or whatever. But the truth is that there are ways to save money, even when you're living in poverty. Here are some other ideas. One, look for coupons in the Sunday newspaper. This one works especially well if you live far from stores and have no way to get around without an unreliable form of public transport like buses or trains, which means they're not always running. If you're eligible for food stamps or SNAP, check out your state's website for more information on how to use them. Two, shop at thrift stores instead of department stores. You can find some amazing stuff at Goodwill and other places like that. But if you don't know where they are, ask someone who does. When it comes down to it, there are always people willing to help those who want nothing but the best for themselves and their families. Just ask around until someone shows interest. Number three, shop around for insurance plans that fit your needs and budget. Some companies may offer discount for low-income families. You can compare different company plans so that you can find one that fits within your price range. Four, your salary may become completely depleted by food costs, no pun intended. When a few nights out with friends may quickly cost you hundreds of dollars in food and drinks, it is too simple to overspend. Plan your meals in advance and prepare meals for just yourself. Even though it's an unpopular advice, giving up booze will help you save a ton of money. Budgeting isn't just about the money you spend. It's also about making sure that your spending doesn't go over your budget in the first place. Make sure that any purchases you make on credit don't end up costing more than what you originally budgeted for them. That was all from our side and we sincerely hope that it will help you guys in one way or another. If you have any other ideas on how to save money on low income, do not hesitate to fill up the comment section. We will catch you in our next video. Bye-bye.